brethren, may the peace of the Lord be with you today. I'm here to talk about the power of effective communication. Effective communication is a powerful tool that can break any doors, any iron doors. The door can be so strong, it could be an iron door. But with effective communication, you can pave your way through. Effective communication is a powerful tool. If you are someone that know how to communicate, how to relate with others, life will be more easy for you. Majority of people, they don't know how to talk. When they open their mouths, doors will be shut in their face. Especially people that are feeling entitled. It's my right. It's my right. Are you not my husband? Eh? Other people's husband are buying them rapper. They are buying them bag and shoe. Are you not my husband? Look at a John. Look at that is not how to communicate. Why you see another woman? You say, darling, I would have loved to have that shoe. <laughs> I don't even want you to bother. I don't want you to bother, darling. Because I know we need to manage our resources. Our children need to go to school. Talking considerately, the man will be moved from the spirit. From the depth of his heart. Ah, this woman is so sympathetic, so caring. Don't worry, love. How much is it? Ah, is this why you are worried? In love. Effective communication. This is how effective communication can break open every strong iron door. Why a non-effective communicator would destroy everything. That's why the Bible says, A wise woman build her house with her hand. Why the foolish one scatter it all. Proverb. Through communication. A woman that know how to communicate with the husband always win the heart of the husband. That's why you see some men, immediately they finish from work, they start running home, missing their wife, missing her daily because of the way she talk. A woman that is always talking on the top of her tone. When the husband finish from work, they will be looking for beer parlor. <laughs> hand from the side it's better than a pain handle show love from the side yeah yeah many us who last with no time we try to make them smile with our helping hand they'll be looking for a friend that smoke a bowl to go and hang out with but they want to smoke a bowl they want to drink alcohol so that when the wife is naggy again they can just tolerate it you are pushing your husband away because of your nagging but the same thing is applicable to a man. You see, a woman is scared to even stay in your company. Because when you open your mouth, you are so bossy. I am the head of the family. You have to do this. Cook for me. I need jam today. I need panajia tomorrow. I need this one. You are scaring the woman. Remember, it's not only woman that cook. As a man, don't become a detector. A wife needs to be loved. Remember, not being a detector to your wife. A wife, two of you are one. One body. Whatever you do to her, you are doing it to yourself. Whatever she does to you, she is doing it to herself. Spiritually, physically and otherwise. That is how husband and wife are built and equipped. No one should be superior. But spiritually, remember the role you as a man, you need to love her. Remember your spiritual role as a woman, you need to be submissive. Effective communication is what I'm talking about today. Communication, the way we relate to people matters. Too many people... Where others will enter and come out victorious, you will enter, all the doors will be shut in your face because of the way, even the way you carry yourself, the way you carry yourself and when you open down your mouth, everywhere will say, <laughs> you should learn how to communicate effectively and you should also know the power that is involved in effective communication. That is why the Bible says, it says, a words fitly spoken. Are like silver of gold, a words fitly spoken. A soft words can turn away anger. Soft words, you should learn how to tone. The tone you use in communication matters. As a man, there is a way you talk to your wife. She will see herself having urge to make love to you. She will see herself having urge to give you everything. You have it, my husband. Take it. But there's a way you communicate with your wife. When you say, you say, come, you will come, come. Is it? You will come here. You will come here and be begging for this thing today. With our helping hand, oh, oh. Say we stand it back for the youth. 
To the homeless we there for you Many many loving we get for you From the side with every tribe Say we stand the big bar for the youth To the homeless we there for you Many many loving we get for you From the side with every tribe So we should learn how to use wisdom to communicate effectively so that we can get things easily so that life can be easy for us you are there in your place of work they know you when you open your mouth you talk anyhow the bible said this tongue go and read the book of james james chapter 5 he said the tongue is an unruly evil he said tame your tongue control your tongue he said, it's difficult to tame a tongue but it takes wisdom to tame it. People drive with their tongue in the house. They talk in the house. In your place of work, they know you. So when he open his mouth, when she open her mouth, she says she has come again. Talk in the house. When you are even talking, you don't remember someone that, that is paying your wages. In the church, you are known by the way you talk. You call yourself a believer. That is what we call ourselves a Christian, Christian, Christian. But the real name is supposed to be a believer of God. There's no difference between you and a believer. Even in the church, you talk to people anyhow. This is my seat. I keep the seat. You see, start fighting in the church. Start even swearing in the church. Talking anyhow. We should know how to communicate effectively. Remember, there is power in effective communication. Even the way you communicate to God matters. I will tell you today, about 70% or if not 80 of prayers does not go to God. Because of the way you communicate it. Why you see some, they know how to communicate, how to relate with the father. Like a father and son kind of things. They don't blame God. No matter what comes their way, they just say, God, you are my father. You know the best for me. They flow with him. But why you see some more quick, they start questioning. Why? Why do you do this? You say you are God. You say, you are... is God your mate? The same thing is applicable. To the way you relate with people your attitude i'm not here to talk about attitude attitude is another big topic so many people their attitude have enveloped them have caged them their attitude have imprisoned them bad attitudes bad character if you know the power of effective communication you will use it you will practice it it's a practice practice your way to become an effective communicator Practice it. Side with ever try, yeah. Die, help out. Die, help out. Die, help out. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Die, help out. Die, help out. Die, help out. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. For whatever, I could never, never. If I... It requires discipline for you. To communicate well, it requires discipline and remembering who you are. Not arrogantly that I am a rich man. Remember humility. Remember proud going before a fall. Always remember that. The Bible makes us to understand that the more you get richer, the more you ought to be very, very humble and prayerful. Pray without ceasing. The more you get richer, the more you become more humble. Don't be arrogant. Don't be sarcastic. Don't talk to people anyhow because you wanted to own several companies now. When you want to tell people, you boss people around. You call people. You call guests to different hotels. You sleep with them because you want to employ them. You first of all use your mouth to so do not sense with them. Sleep with them because you want to employ them. You are oppressing people. Remember, you are causing pain. You are accumulating causes upon your head. And most of those guests you are sleeping with, you are sleeping with python, you are sleeping with snake, you are sleeping with goat, you are sleeping with fowl, you are sleeping with all manner of spirit that will bring your business down tomorrow. It's not a cause, it's reality. So be careful the way you communicate. Be careful, don't say because you are in authority, you are now the president. God has put you in that position of honor. You are not using it to oppress people, to talk anyhow, to do anyhow. You should remember the power of effective communication. As a president, if you want to open your mouth, open it wisely. 
opening so that the masses, especially the less privileged, will know that, oh, this man, he have us at heart. You don't just talk because now you are there, you can do whatever you like. If you are a governor, the same things are applicable to you. If you are a local government chairman, always have people at heart. And when you want to open your mouth, open it the way to encourage others, the way it will promote what you represent. Remember, you are there for the people. Irrespective of your position, irrespective of that seat you are occupying, remember the power of effective communication. Remember that seat is not yours. Even if you are a president, four years, ten on, you are out of there. You will still come back, you will meet people, your old friend, your old life. So be careful the way you are using your position to communicate negative things, to communicate depression. A lot of people, they have used their mouth, their communication, to make people to commit suicide. A lot of people, the way they talk, have destroyed a lot of people. For whatever, I could never, never. Holy Father, send a helper, we go show me my way, never, never go astray. Yeah, I'm studying, helping, touching some lives, helping, touching some lives, uh, touching some lives, some lives. Say we start getting back for the youth, to the homeless with it for you. Many, many loving we get. A lot of people, the way they communicate, have initiated a lot of people, have made a lot of people go into ritual, have made a lot of people go into negative ways. The way they communicate, what do you communicate? How do you communicate it? Is very important. As a woman, use the power of effective communication. To get things from your husband in a lovely way, not to exploit him, not to deceive him in love. It genuinely. Remember, your duty is to be submissive. Submissiveness with effective communication is a weapon in your hand as a woman. When you submit to your husband and you use the power of effective communication, your husband is in your hand. Like this. When even when the mice raging, he's shouting, you know how to come, how to pet him down, how to chill him down, how to talk the right time. There is a set time for everything. You don't talk when a man is angry. You talk at the set time. You look for that moment. It could be, honey, do you want a cup of juice? Do you want me to pay a rent for you? Uh, do you want this? You want this? You just came back from work now. You need to have a nap, please. You need a quiet time. I will make sure I take the children away to the garden for you to relax. There's a way you enter your husband. The same thing with your husband. It's a way you communicate with your wife. She will leave everything for you. Open her body. She will not be starving with your sex. She will not starve you with her money. She will not starve you with her love. She will not starve you with her caring. She will be open. She will say, oh. Thank you, Jesus. Every day she wake up, she say, Thank you, Jesus, for giving me this kind of man. If you are not a man that your wife is scared to miss or to lose, some, something is wrong with you. You need to sit down and work on yourself. You must you must build a relationship, effective communication with your wife to the extent that she will be missing you every time. When she is out, she wants to be with you. Anywhere she goes, she will be missing your husband. She wants to hear your voice. But if you are that man that does not have this case of effective communication, your wife will look for someone else to be speaking with. Your husband will be looking for someone else to be speaking to. Because when they, when you open your mouth, it's so irritating. It's full of negative words. A lot of people, they are full of communicating negative. There's nothing like motivation in their spirit. There's nothing like positivity. All they speak about is depression, is discouraging, is frustration, is disrespect is arrogancy and all that you need to learn how to use the power of effective communication is a tool when we get for you from the side with every tribe say we stand with the bar for the youth so the homeless with it for you many many loving we get for you from the side with every tribe yeah. that help out that help out Effective communication is a very powerful tool and we all should learn how to use it. We should practice and learn how to use it and you will not regret using the power of effective communication to communicate in your marriage, in your businesses, in your position, in the church. Anywhere you are, use the power of effective communication. 
and you will see the glory of God. You will see divine restoration. You will see all the things since you have lost will come back to you. You will see people will start coming back to you. You see, you start, you know, building community. You start building nations. The power of effective communication is the key that can open any door. Effective communication, it can increase your finance, it can increase your love in the marriage, it can boost your efficacy, it can boost your immune system, it can build you, it can bring in people that matters into your life. Thank you once again for listening to this message and please do subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. And also, do share this video to your friends, to your loved ones, and even to your enemy. As you do so, you are helping us to promote Kingdom Gospel, and you are also helping us to promote love and unity in the world. Don't forget that help organization represents love. The help organization represents caring. The help organization represents delivering positive message, message of transformation, message that we heal, that we build marriages, relationship that we bring people together in love, in harmony, in peace. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, make sure you do. And everything I do here is for you. Thank you. God bless you. Remember, effective communication is the key that can unlock every potential door and put it in practice. Learn it, practice it, and live in it. You will not regret it. Thank you once again. i see you in my next video. God love you, and I love you with the love of God. Thank you. Peace of the love be with you. Thank you. Help I, oh, 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 oh. Die, help I, die, help I, oh. Die, help I, yeah.